ES Audio. What's up, guys? I'm John Weeks. This is the Evening Standards Tech and Science Daily. Coming up, want to hear a rock crashing into Mars? We've got NASA's recording. But first, Rockstar Games has confirmed a series of leaked clips of the upcoming GTA 6 game are real. A hacker has leaked dozens of videos showing robberies, open world driving and gunplay to an online message board. It also showed a new female character as well as some of the technical data that went into the design. Rockstar said it was extremely disappointed that these details about the game were shared via a leak. It said it's continuing work on the title as planned and will share the game publicly when it's ready. Elon Musk has announced on Twitter that he's going to try and provide broadband to Iran using his Starlink satellite network. He recently tweeted that Starlink is now active on all continents, including Antarctica. But to cover Iran, he's got to apply for an exemption to sanctions. In the country, access to the internet is heavily restricted as the government tries to control dissent. Now, staying with things on Twitter, the social media platform has just announced a new feature making the platform more accessible for visually impaired readers. It's introduced alt text reminders, which prompt users to add a description of their images when uploading. That description can then be picked up by screen reader software, which reads it out loud to the user. But people will have to opt in to get the reminders. Some have argued they should appear by default so it boosts the chances of images being made accessible. The trees along our streets and throughout our cities are at risk of dying out due to climate change. That's according to research which examines trees in 164 countries around the world and found that more than half of tree species are already at risk in some cities because of rising temperatures and changes in rainfall. Scientists are calling for better protection of existing trees and also want more drought-resistant species to be planted. They want to secure the long-term benefits provided by urban forests, like providing shade, keeping cities cool, and even improving our mental and physical health. NASA's InSight Mars Lander has been back a unique recording, apparently revealing the sound of a space rock crashing into the planet. Yep, that's it. The sound picked up by InSight last September when a meteoroid crashed into the Martian atmosphere. NASA said the bizarre bloop sound it makes is all down to the way sound travels along Mars, which is similar to how it works in deserts here on Earth. The space agency said someone close to the impact would hear a bang, or someone many miles away would hear the bass sounds first, creating that sort of bloop noise. Coming up, the extraterrestrial water found on a UK meteorite. Our satellite pictures show the true scale of the Queen's funeral. Why not rate us and hit follow in the meantime? Welcome back. Scientists believe they've found more evidence to back up the theory that asteroids brought water to Earth in the very early years of the planet's existence. They've been examining a meteorite which crashed into a driveway in Gloucestershire last February and is partly made up of extraterrestrial water. Experts at the Natural History Museum said the composition of the water that's locked up in minerals is very, very similar to the composition of water in the Earth's oceans. They said this particular meteorite is a good piece of evidence because it was so quickly recovered after landing, so is unlikely to have been contaminated by minerals already here. Now, around 1 million people are estimated to have watched the procession of the Queen's Coffin in London yesterday, and a series of satellite pictures show the true scale of people there. US space tech firm Maxar Technologies has shared images from the day, showing the crowds gathered at various points along the procession route. Some of the images show crowds at the Horse Guards Parade, the Edge of Hyde Park and the Albert Memorial. And you can see those pictures of the huge crowds by clicking on the link in our show notes. It looks like Sony may have found a way around the disk drive, no disk drive issue. It's rumoured a revamped version of the PS5 is on its way that comes with a detachable disk drive. Currently, the only options available are a console with a built-in drive and another one that's digital only that can't read disks. 
It's thought the new version will let you play games using a drive connected via USB-C. It's reported the disk drive would be sold separately though, which means more to spend, but could make it easier to fix if it stops working. And finally, you can now edit human faces using the online AI image generator, DALI. Up until now, the feature was off limits because of fears it would be misused. But OpenAI says it's now improved its filters, so they now remove images that contain sexual, political, and violence content. The feature lets you upload a picture of a person and generate variations of that image, or edit specific features like changing someone's clothing or hairstyle. You are up to date. Come back at four o'clock for the Leader Podcast, where we bring you the latest news and analysis from the Evening Standard. We'll be back tomorrow afternoon at one. See you then.